Hi there, my name is Dave Kemp and welcome to the very first episode of They Said What? A little vlog where each episode I'm going to take a different song and systematically and scientifically break it down, explaining why I believe it is a piece of junk. Now, uh, this first song, I wanted to find something absolutely horrible, a song that had almost zero redeeming qualities, and it took a while. But I found it. And that song is 23 by Mike Will Made It, featuring Miley Cyrus, Wiz Khalifa, and Juicy J. Now, before I break into the song itself, there's something I have to address. Now, I'm not what I would call a grammar Nazi, but every time I hear that name, Mike Will Made It. I can almost feel an aneurysm coming on. Is there blood coming out of my ears? Now, before I break into the negatives of the song, which <laughs> there are plenty, I feel that I should point out the one, we'll call it half redeeming quality. And I'm saying half because I'm trying to round up and be a nice guy. And that would be the beat. I would have given it more than half a redeeming quality if I was a bigger fan of generic cookie cutter beats, but I'm not. Uh, I believe to truly enjoy this song at its utmost, you need to have a lobotomy. That way your head will just naturally bounce along to the beat, and the lyrics will just totally go past your head. And now let's get to, for the lack of a better term, the content of this video and the song. Um, now, looking at Miley's trashy outfit, one can deduce one of two things. A, it's about Michael Jordan, one of the most gifted athletes to ever play any sport. Or it's the prequel to a trashy low-budget porn. But if Miley has taught me anything about videos, and it really burns me to say that, you cannot always look at a video and know what the song is about. So, let's see what Miss Cyrus has brought to this lyrical genius known as 23. Or not! Uh, apparently it's about shoes. Now, I was told well over a decade ago to write what you know, and if that's the case, 23 should have been written by this guy. And that would have made a lot more sense because Al even lived in Chicago! <laughs> okay, maybe Miley will bring something good to this song. It's not like she's some kind of token white trashy skank now, is she? <laughs> I'm MC Hammer Fly. You can't touch. Hammer? MC for hit hammer? <laughs> Miley! Oh, I'm sure that's her only poorly planned reference. Naughty by nature, Miley. Really? You're quoting a song from 1993 when you were born in 1992. Seriously, I thought you would have been more of an OPP kind of gal. That's just what I picked up. But really, I know that you didn't write these lyrics, but on the same account, you're at the point in your career that you don't have to accept every project that comes your way. Oh, Miley, 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 your dad is rolling over in his musical career grave as I speak. Next is Wiz Khalifa. Let's see what this guy brings to this song. I be rocking Jays or I be rocking Taylors. I got lots of flavors. My kick game is major. Om oh, Wiz Khalifa, Om. Oh. I see many a lyrical abominations in your future, son. Pro athlete, I'm not no wannabe. Waitress asks how many bottles. I said 23. And you say that you're a pro athlete. Hmm. I know that I've seen a pro athlete rap before. Let me just, let me just think back to who that was. 
I took a stand in the 90s, shoot, but I'm counting. It's a fact to check to leave a cold trap counting. Yeah, you're boned. And then there's Juicy J. I can only assume that name some kind of clever play on a big spliff, if you will. Yeah, because that's exactly what every pothead wants, right? A wet, soggy, soppy joint. Good call, pal. Well, let's see what this guy's lyrical contribution brings to this wonderful masterpiece, shall we? I'm so high, I got three bitches that go by. I'm so fly, I'm getting head like a blow drop. Huh? I... I need to hear that again. I'm so high, I got three bitches that go by. I'm so fly, I'm getting head like a blow drop. You're getting head like a blow dryer. Okay, let's... Let's think about this for a second, shall we? Juicy J, okay, can, can we can we do this? Okay, blow dryers, at, at the end that you use, there's a circle, it's kind of round. And that part, uh, goes up against the head. And blow dryers, they're the ones doing the blowing. So maybe what you mean is that you give more. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, and then it comes down to Mr. Mike. I don't ever want to say that name again because it grinds my brain. It. Um, can I just call you Mr. It for now? I realize I've been trashing on everybody else in this song, as I should, because they're part of it. But when it all comes down, it's you. It's your fault that this song exists. Whenever a new disease gets introduced to society, you can blame the EPA for not telling us sooner. You can blame the media for not getting the word out fast enough. But when it comes down to it, it's that one science lab or scientist that is to blame. And you, sir, are a scientist. Thank you very much for watching. They said what? Uh, tune in next time for a brand new lyrical abomination. Oh no, oh no, not me. I did it my